What's good, y'all? It's that boy, Easy Millions, and I'm your host of that boy, E T V. You already know, man. We are back on Multiverses, and today is the day of the update. So, you know, I'm here with them patch notes, baby. We got quite a few things to go over, so let's go ahead and get right into this. As first, we start with the fact we're getting a new fighter, and Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice joins the multiverse. He is available for Gleamium and character ticket purchase starting today, and he will be available for purchase with fighter currency in three days on August 23rd, 2024. And also coming soon, all fighters will be available for play in local game modes, man. So a lot of people have been asking for that, and we're finally getting our new character, Beetlejuice, so can't wait to get my hands on him and see how good he is. Now, we're moving on as we're getting a new map, which would be the Teen Titans Tower, has now been added to the game, and it has three variants, which is the normal Teen Titans Tower, the 1v1 Teen, Teen Titans Tower, and we have Teen Titans Tower number two, man. So we're getting a map with three variants, so that's dope. But we also got some more changes to the maps, as all maps upper blast zones grace area has been extended 50%. This should help prevent players from accidentally jumping into a ring out while trying to escape a combo. For the throne room 1v1, walls are longer than they are at the start of the match. Walls are no longer there at the start of the match. No longer has walls and floor transition and now available in ranked 1v1 map pool. The tree fort 2, they removed bounce pad trees. And for Water Tower, the center fall through platform and door has it raised on all variants to address bad interactions with certain projectiles. And the main variant and 1v1 variant added back to their respective rank map pools, man. So we're getting some maps put back into rank and we got some map changes. But the biggest one is Teen Titans Tower. Can't wait to see that. Now we do got some rank mode changes. And the biggest ones here are the fact that Grandmaster Rank returns. So that will only be players within a character RP of the top 100 highest RP across all characters. There will be a new leaderboard. Players can now choose to concede a rank match in between games of in the best of three. And players can now be immediately promoted out of bronze and silver if they win a game with high MMR. And there is now a less difference in RP rewards between gold and platinum four. And potential RP loss per game is now capped at all tiers. Silver and gold players no longer lose more than one game worth of RP for a loss, man. So we got some good changes here. It seems like to rank mode. This way in the earlier ranks, you can kind of grind through those a little easier. And the fact you can concede the best out of two out of three. Hey, man, if they don't want to play, you get smacked up that bad. I don't see what the problem is as long as you get the dub, right? Now, we got combat changes, man. I put out a video for this earlier, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, go over them real fast as they're making a myriad of general combat changes in an attempt to reward more offensive gameplay. These changes affect all fighters universally, but additionally, character-specific changes will be listed in the character patch notes. So for dodge cancels, dodge attack now costs only two units of dodge meter. That's down from three. Dodge attacks and dodge jumps now play a special visual effect to help with clarity for all players. Receiving a hit after a dodge cancel where the initial dodge avoided an attack will now remove the dodge text pop-up. And dodge jump cancel window while dodge meter is empty. Uh, delayed 18 frames now matches fatigue dodge attack cancel window. And now we got dodge lands. Fixed an issue where fighters could sometimes dodge into the ground without dodge landing. Dodge land cancel window advanced seven frames. Fatigued cancel window delayed five frames. Fighters now retain more momentum on the dodge land. Fighters now have more mo movement control on the ground during a dodge land. Forward dodge lands can now carry fighter momentum off the ledge of the main platform. For dodge fatigue or when you're you have, when you have an empty dodge meter, the base dodge fatigue time increased to ten seconds, up from eight seconds. We have wall cling and wall fatigue. Fighters will reach maximum wall fatigue after spending five seconds on a wall, down from eight and a half. Fighters will begin to slide faster on the wall after two consecutive wall clings. That's down from four. Fighters will reach maximum wall fatigue after eight consecutive wall clings, down from 12. Fighters will no longer refresh their air dodges or air specials if they wall cling at maximum wall fatigue. 
and fighters losing dodge meter from maximum wall fatigue can no longer gain any dodge meter until the fighter land on solid ground man and for something new we got priority hit boxes certain attacks can now be classified as low priority hit boxes low priority attacks cannot trade with normal attacks if a low priority attack connects with an enemy at the same frame the attacker is hit but the normal attack the low priority attack will be ignored character specific low priority attacks will be listed in the character patch notes all ground side attack combos besides the finisher attack are now considered low priority attacks and terrain bounces they no longer are affected by attack decay and knockback reduce so there is attack decay in here apparently why doesn't it show up on the on in the game though it's kind of weird also we now have automatic ground teching when a fighter is the victim of a combo that includes a terrain bounce if they are floor bounced again in the same combo they will instead perform an automatic tech an automatic tech breaks the combo by stomping the fighter on the ground and returning them to an idle pose with invincibility frames. If the fighter holds left and right during the tech, they will move a short distance in that direction while retaining fewer invincibility frames. The automatic tech will, will not occur if the floor bounce happens too soon after the first terrain bounce. This will allow us to add more power into ground bounce combos without fear of accidentally introducing infinite loops in the future, man. So big changes there to the combat on my page. You will you can actually go up there and see a video where it shows you actual visuals of these. I'll actually probably put a link down in the description to that video as well as the patch notes. But now here we are for the nitty gritty. Why everyone is here, man, for these character balance changes, man. And first up, we got Agent Smith. And for his ground down special. They fixed an issue where the agent clone would remain idle if Smith would hit on the same frame he summoned the clone. They fixed an issue where the agent clone would whiff grab if hit enemies in certain positions. They fixed an issue where the agent clone would hit enemies that were above the clone's head. They fixed an issue where the agent clone would not turn around at ledges, man. So basically, big changes to his clone. So hopefully, Agent Smith people, y'all should be happy about that. Now, we got Aria. For general, head hurt box size increased will fix certain projectiles whiffing versus Aria on the ground. For dodge land, they fix Aria's neutral dodge playing the wrong animation. Her ground neutral attack, the hitbox active duration reduced two frames. And the forward movement and speed increased slightly, distance was unchanged. For her air side attack, the charge knockback multiplier has been reduced to 1.25 from 1.6. For her air down attack, repeat move lockout increased to 20 frames from 8 frames. And for her air slash ground up special, the repeat move lockout has been increased to 20 frames from 15 frames, man. So a lot of changes there on Aria. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Now, for Banana Guard. We felt like Banana Guard could use more combo starter approach options. So we're making adjustments on air neutral attack to serve that purpose. So for air neutral attack, on hit cancel window has been advanced four frames. And for his ground down special, on hit cancel window advanced 18 frames after second hit, man. So it's kind of crazy they're saying that they want to give a more combo starter approach because Banana Guard already seemed a little broken to me. But let me know how y'all feel about that there. Now we got Batman. We're trying to make the air down special crashing justice dive kick less centralizing and more challengeable. We're beginning to evaluate how to make Batman feel more dynamic in an upcoming patch. For your air slash ground neutral attack, Bangarang will only attempt to home in towards Batman for a maximum of three seconds. Bangarang will be destroyed if Batman is still the owner of the Batarang when he is rung out. Batarang will be destroyed if Batman is still the owner of the Batarang when he attempts to spawn a new one. And for your air down special, the startup window has been increased by 6 frames. The leg hurt box size has increased. And the hit box size has been reduced, man. So not so no more of y'all Batman is going to be up there jumping down dive kicking all day, man. <laughs> I've been running into that a lot, but now that annoying thing has been addressed, man. Thank God. Now, on the Black Adam. Something small. For general, his weight was just reduced to 75 from 85, man. So that's kind of tough for him. Just made him easier to kill. 
for Bugs Bunny. Air side attack. Hitbox size reduced so it's less likely for Bugs to hit enemies behind him. His air side special. Rocket is considered an unteckable surface. And the not bike has been made more horizontal. For your air slash ground up special. Rocket is considered an unteckable surface. And for air slash ground down special. They fixed an issue where the tunneling visual effects were not displaying while Bugs was underground. So some changes there to Bugs. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Now for Finn. Finn is living up to his ideal as a speedy combo heavy assassin. A little too well right now with his ability to carry opponents across the stage. Resulting in a very low damage ring outs. We want to promote a little more offense from Finn by reducing his ability to charge his attacks for extended periods of time. While also making his combo game a little easier to deal with, man. Thank God, man. So let's let's go over these changes for Finn. For his ground neutral attack, the maximum charge time reduced to 1.5 seconds from 4 seconds. On whiff, cancel window has been delayed 4 frames. For his ground side attack, the maximum charge time is reduced to 1.5 seconds from 4 seconds. On whiff, cancel window delayed 6 frames. Okay. Ground up attack. Maximum charge time reduced to 1.5 seconds from 4 seconds. An on with cancel window delayed 6 frames. And for his ground down attack, the maximum charge reduced to 1.5 seconds from 4 seconds, man. So mostly just making it so he can't just run around charging up his attacks. I hate characters that have that. Like him and Taz have Taz has that up attack that he does. Those things are hella annoying, so I'm glad that they're addressing that. But for his air neutral attack... They no longer launches Finn forward on hit. Cooldown removed. For his air slash ground neutral special, the maximum charge time is reduced to 1.5 seconds from 4 seconds. And his ground down special, boost of speed, speed buff duration increased to 25 seconds from 10 seconds, man. So even though they did uh, really affect y'all's ability to charge up y'all attacks, the boost of speed did get a buff. So that's really good for y'all as a way to kind of, I guess, counteract that. Now, for my main chick, man, Garnett. Let's see what they did, baby. Hopefully, they helped you out. But let's see. For ground side attack two, and it now applies armor on startup, which it should have already been doing. Uh, ground neutral attack, the hitbox size increased to better match visuals. Hitbox duration increased four frames to better match visuals. Okay. Air neutral attack. The startup window before charge reduced three frames. Okay, so that's faster startup, so that should be good. An air up attack, they fixed hitbox size reduced to better match visuals, man. So they just made her air up attack even harder to hit, which is just kind of crazy because I don't know. I don't feel like these changes are really going to do much for her. I'm going to have to go in and see if that startup on her air neutral, just how good it is, man. But let's keep it going. We got Gizmo for general. Head hurt box size increase will fix certain projectiles within versus gizmo on the ground. Air slash ground neutral attack. They added maximum charge time over 1.9 seconds. For your air slash ground neutral special, they fixed an issue where holding the neutral special bind would not continue the attack. And for your air slash ground up special, on hit cancel window has been delayed three frames. Not back angle has been made more horizontal. And knockback has been increased to 1750 from 1500, man. Now, on to Harley Quinn. Dash attack. Made hits more consistent with the multiple hits to drop less. For ground down attack, they fixed an issue where Harley could cancel the second kick on hit by taunting. An air up special. Hitbox size has been reduced. Ground version unchanged. Hitbox now better matches visuals. For Iron Giant. Your air side attack, no fuel knockback reduced to 2050 from 2595. This fixes an issue where the no fuel version had higher knockback than the fueled version of the attack. And rage mode ground down attack, the repeat move lockout increased to 24 frames from 17 frames, man. So minor changes here to Iron Giant and Harley Quinn, none too special. Now let's move on to Jake. Jake has been underperforming for a while due to the over-centralizing strength of his bite neutral special. We are looking to evaluate some quality of life buffs for a future patch to make his strategy less bite dependent. So, for general, they fixed an issue where Drake's neutral jods 
were not playing their ending animations. Air down attack. A floor bounce incurred from the first hit of this attack will not count towards the automatic attack bounce threshold. An air slash ground neutral special. Armor duration from eating an ally reduced to 1.5 seconds from 4 seconds. And eating an ally now interrupts their current action, man. So big changes to Jake. Jake, man, let us know. Let us know, mains. How, how does he play now? Let us know down in them comments, baby. For Jason, ground up attack. The first hit prevents terrain bounce on knockback. Final hit is unchanged. Ground down attack. They fixed an issue where using this attack could ring out Jason if the ground was broken during the attack. Air neutral special now has armor during attack startup. And your resurrectionist perk. They fixed an issue where Jason could get rung out even while resurrectionist was active causing a double ring out man. So big change on that. Thank God because I know people were getting mad about that one man. But we're on to LeBron. And they say congratulations to LeBron James on winning gold. In celebration, we're giving LeBron some buffs, but only because he won. Our new auto tech system allows us to prevent an infinite loop that was occurring during to being able to repeatedly ground bounce opponents. So we're reverting the change to air down special from the last hotfix patch. So your ground side attack one now more consistently combos into ground side attack two. Your ground side your ground side side special. The land, the land cancel window has been advanced four frames. And the air down special. The startup window has been reduced five frames. And this is a revert from patch 1.2.1, man. So, again, big ups to LeBron and Team USA for winning gold. We got to see how these changes really affect him and see if we see a lot more LeBrons out there. Now, we on to Marvin. For general, Marvin's role is now mage instead of assassin. His head hurt box has been increased. We'll fix certain projectiles whiffing versus Marvin on the ground. For Morty, Morty's role is now Mage instead of Bruiser. For Air Up Attack, On Hit Cancel Window has been delayed 4 frames. And On Whiff Cancel Window has been delayed 8 frames. For his Air Down Attack, Hitbox Size increased to better match visuals. And for Rain Dog, the Air Slash Ground Down Special. They fixed an issue where Rain Dog Fireball had no hurt box. This will fix issue with reflection and projectile clank interactions, man. So now we're on to Rick. And boy, 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 does Rick have a lot of changes, man. So Rick has become very frustrating for the opponents due to the large size of his jab and how often players use the move in neutral. We want to reduce the strength of his jab while also giving him better combo tools across his kit to increase diversity in his move set. So for general... They fixed an issue where Rick could not use instant air dodge cancel to use aerial specials near the ground. For ground side attack one, startup window before charge increased four frames, hitbox size reduced, and on with cancel window delayed three frames. Ground side attack two, on hit cancel window into side attack three advanced one frame. And ground side attack three, the startup window before charge reduced one frame. Cancel window delayed one frame. Rocket spawn time advanced two frames. Rocket base speed increased to 3,000 from 2,000. Rocket base damage increased to 6 from 5. Rocket knockback increased to 1,600 from 1,200. And rocket knockback scaling increased to 22 from 19. For his ground up attack. First hit now more consistently combos into second hit. Ground down attack. Bomb spawn now advanced one frame. Bomb maximum detonation delay reduced to 0.35 seconds from 0.5 seconds. Air slash ground neutral attack. They fixed an issue where charged and uncharged lasers were not properly handing projectile interactions. For air side attack. On hit general cancel window delayed six frames. On hit cancel window into side special unchanged. And it now ignores player collision during movement. For air up attack, charge damage multiplier increased to 1.75 from 1.2. And the move upward momentum is maintained on startup. For his air down attack, hitbox activation duration increased two frames. Now better matches visuals. And hitbox size increased, now matching better visuals. For his ground neutral special, Mises command window advanced three frames. 
and they up me seeks hitbox size increased for air neutral special hitbox size reduced hit stun increased and now ignores player collision during movement for air slash ground side special they fixed an issue where fighters could dodge out of portal travel air up special they reduced backwards horizontal momentum during launch and they fixed an issue where using a special near a wall would not launch rick upwards and finally his air slash ground down special polymorph debuff now shows a timer icon for remainder duration man man rick got hella changes we gotta see how that affects him baby rick mains down in them comments let me know how you feel about them changes dog because that's a lot now we're on to actually my new main samurai jack samurai jack was released with incredibly popular new fighter and players immediately found success with this strong side special and quick focus meter gain we're hoping to tone down his side special as a do everything attack and also reduce the number of times players can use his super strong focus meter attacks in a single game this should bring him more in line with the rest of the cast okay for general they fix an issue with jack would rotate it perpendicular to terrain when terrain bouncing and they fix an issue where jack's dance animation wouldn't play when affected by gizmos where there's gonna get your perk for its passive focus meter gain from hitting enemies is reduced 30 percent and focus meter gain from receiving hits reduced 25 percent for ground side attack one hitbox size reduce for ground side attack two Hitbox size reduced so it's less likely for Jack to hit enemies behind him. Okay, gown side attack 3. Hitbox size reduced so it's less likely for Jack to hit enemies behind him. Okay, for air up attack. Repeat move lockout increased 15 frames from 12 frames. Air neutral special. They removed armor applied on startup. Rage version unchanged. No longer allows changing the throw direction after a successful grab. Okay. For air slash ground side special, on with cancel window delayed three frames, and the hitbox size reduced so it's less likely for Jack to hit enemies behind him on startup. Okay, focus air slash ground side special, on with cancel window delayed eight frames, hitbox size reduced to better match non focus side special, and attack will no longer only transition to multiple slashes if the first attack hits an enemy. That's good right there. So you only get the multiple attacks if the first one actually hits. And it doesn't just sit there. That's, that's good. Now the shadow step perk. They fix an issue where Jack would sometimes move behind an enemy. And whiff his counter attack man. So biggest changes is to his side special. The one that's break is the biggest one is the one I talked about. The attack will only transition to multiple slashes if the first one hits. Which is a good change man. This way you can't really just edge guard with it. So it's a really good change right there. Now let's go on to Shaggy. Air slash ground neutral special. Rage duration reduced to 12 seconds from 25 seconds. Rage air slash ground side special. No longer breaks armor. Rage air slash ground up special. No longer breaks armor. Rage ground down special. No longer breaks armor. And they fixed an issue where the shock wave could get stuck traveling between identical terrains. And for your rage air down special, it no longer breaks armor and they fixed an issue where the shockwave could get stuck traveling between identical terrains, man. So basically just making it so Shaggy breaks a lot less armor out there. So we'll see how that goes, man. Now we on the Steven Universe. As for general, enemies can now knock back Steven to reduce stacks of bubble debuff, side air side attack, hitbox size reduced, now better matches visuals. Air slash ground side special. Shield is considered an untackable surface. Air slash ground up special. Shield is considered an untackable surface. Air down special. Startup window increased six frames. Fall acceleration reduced slightly. Hitbox active duration after landing reduced six frames. And air on hit cancel window delayed by two frames, man. So some good changes. Seems like there to Steven. Now for Stripe. Your air slash ground down special. The base cooldown has been removed. And ammo cooldown reduced to 12.5 seconds from 15 seconds. For Taz, general, Taz role is now an assassin instead of a bruiser. And the air slash ground neutral special. They fixed an issue where Taz could become permanently stuck if hit while eating certain projectiles. Now for the Joker, the ground side attack one. 
hitbox size reduce, visual updates to match, and air slash ground up special. They fixed an issue where the Joker could sometimes not ride his balloon immediately on spawn, man. Now, we're on to Velma, who has a lot of changes as well. And for Velma, can be oppressive as a projectile zoner, but still lacks the tools to compete her combos when she gets into melee range. We are limiting the strength of her projectile tools while increasing the strength of her close range attacks to give her a better punish game when she finds her moment to strike. We have also given her a new attack in the form of an all cooldown special that she can use to start combos at close range, man. So for dodge land, the fiction issue where Velmo was unable to dodge land. Ground side attack 1. Startup window reduced 2 frames. On with cancel delayed 3 frames. Ground side attack 2. Hit stun increased. Ground up attack. Hitbox added to Velma's chest. Should help with hitting smaller characters more consistently. Ground down attack. Startup window reduced 2 frames. On with cancel window advanced 8 frames. Air side attack. Uncharged damage increased to eight from not increased to nine from eight. Uncharged knockback reduced to thirteen hundred from fourteen fifty. Uncharged knockback scaling increased to eighteen from twelve point five. Maximum charged knockback multiplier reduced to one point one five from one five. And visuals now better match hitbox. For your air slash ground neutral special, homing speech bubbles now stop homing if the target enemy dodges the speech bubble. The SAS speech bubble maximum life reduced to 2.5 seconds from infinite. The SAS speech bubble knockback angle made more horizontal and backwards towards Velma. All ally empowered to totals speech bubble maximum life reduced to 8 seconds from 10 seconds. Fix an issue with the ally empowered totals speech bubble could come home towards Mojo Jojo on the Townsville map. Fix an issue where speech bubbles would home towards certain characters' feet rather than their midpoint. Ground down special, the mystery machine. The mystery machine capture hitbox is now low priority. Can now re-hit enemies who have dodged the capture hitbox after one second. Air side special, movement and knockback have been completely revamped. This attack now moves Velma further and not knock back enemies in her into her path, allowing her to use this attack as a combo starter. Air up special, vertical movement increased. Air slash ground special, the book. The book spawn location, move closer to Velma, should prevent close range whiffs. And her new move, the air slash ground down special, the cooldown. Down special can now be used on cooldown to spawn a short range book projectile. The projectile can be used as a combo starter in air and on ground. The projectile does not grant any bust to Velma or her allies, man. So they're basically giving her a new move to make her combo heavy. So Velma might become even more of a problem, man. And finally, we got Wonder Woman and her ground slash air neutral special. The armor duration on hitting an ally reduced to 0.5 seconds from 2.5 from 2.2.5 seconds. And her ground slash down special armor duration reduced to 2.25 seconds from 3.7 seconds man so big changes in this patch this actually is very good for the game a lot of character balances so gonna have to get in there and definitely check that out see how that has changed the game and how it's played but velma got big changes um that were i think will really affect the game samurai jack is gonna changes are gonna affect the game and of course the rick changes man so all these mains of rick samurai and velma Come down in these comments, man. Let me know how y'all feeling about this. I need to get on here and see how Jack feels now. And I'm still sad a little bit about Garner. I really wish they would buff the hell out of her. But who knows? Maybe next time, man. But down in them comments, I will have a link to the full patch notes for you to check out everything for yourself. And I will have a link to the video uh, for the gameplay changes, visuals for you. Go ahead and check that out as well, man. But as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow, share, become a supporter, and catch me streaming on Facebook Gaming and Twitch at that boy E T V. <laughs> Man, catch you on the next one, baby. I'm out. <laughs> Peace.